Hey guys, you're looking at a Rally Monster Brushless Pro. Uh, today we're going to show you how to program this Easy Run Brushless ESC. This is the same ESC that comes equipped on all of the Exceed RC 110 scale brushless cars. So this programming instructional video will apply to all of those as well as the Hobby Wing brushless systems. Main focus of this tutorial is to show you how to enable or disable your low voltage cutoff. Now this is important because if you're using a lithium polymer battery, you want the ESC to cut the voltage low or to cut the voltage when it's right around three volts per cell. If you drain it too low, you can risk damaging your lithium polymer battery. However, if you're using a nickel battery, you want it to drain all the way down. Now, if you have low voltage pr protection enabled while using a nickel battery, your runtime is going to get cut short because the ESC is going to be thinking you're using a lithium polymer battery. So the focus of this video is going to show you how to disable or enable this feature. Now you can program this ESC with a programming card. Uh, those of you without a programming card, we're going to show you how to program it via this red button here. Basically, we're going to hold this red button, we're going to turn it on, it's going to go through a series of flashes, we're going to pay attention to those flashes, and push the button accordingly. Now each flash represents a different menu, or each green flash represents a different menu. We're going to menu 3, which is the low voltage cutoff protection menu. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to hold down this red button. While holding the red button, we're going to switch on the on-off switch. We're going to continue holding the red button until the green LED flashes three times. Once it flashes three times, we're going to let go. Once it flashes three times, that means we're in the low voltage cutoff menu. Okay, I let go. Now we're going to see, we're going to pay attention to the red LED. The red LED is flashing once, which means we're in, which means low voltage protection is disabled. Now if you want to turn it on, you can press it again. It's the red LED should flash twice. When it flashes twice, that means you're at, it's going to cut, it's going to shut down the ESC at 2.6 volts per cell. Now if I push it again, the red LED will flash three times, which means low voltage protection is at 2.8 volts per cell. And if I push it again, it's going to flash four times. Low voltage cutoff is at 3.0 volts per cell. This is the one I would recommend. If you want to play it safe, I'll push it again. And you'll notice it's just one long flash. One long flash means five. Uh, so this menu, or this option, means that low voltage protection is at 3.2 volts per cell. This is playing it safe. If you have a LiPo battery and you don't want to drain it too low, you probably want to set it at 3.2 volts per cell. Now there's one more, which is a long flash and a short flash, which, which means option six, and that's low voltage protection at 3.4 volts per cell. Now since we're using a nickel battery here, I'm gonna push it again and go back to option one, which is one flash, and that's low voltage protection disabled. So once I confirm that it's one red LED flash, which means low voltage protection is disabled, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, which means that function has been set. Now this procedure can be done for other menus. Remember how we held it and we turned it on and it flashed green times, uh, flash green three times. There's a total of 10 menus in this ESC. So if you hold it down, you'll get to different menus and you can change different functions. We'll have a link up so you can view the PDF manual and you can program other functions on this ESC. So do remember if you're using a nickel metal hydrate battery, you want to disable low voltage protection. 
if you're using a lithium polymer battery like these, you want to enable low voltage protection. That's very important, um, a very important feature that you want to pay attention to. Now, speaking of LiPo batteries, we have plenty of LiPo batteries uh, with amazing deals. We have the Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp 40C battery. It's an unbelievable deal on NitroICS.com. Definitely check it out. We also have the new Sky LiPo 5000s uh, that are also 40C. Definitely check these batteries out. It's going to give your car a lot longer runtime, a lot more power. And just remember to use your low voltage protection when you're using these LiPo batteries. So hopefully this video showed you guys how to program your ESC. Uh, be sure to check out the link to program other functions such as running mode, drag brake, start mode, maximum drag brake force, uh, overheat protection, and timing and other features. Definitely check that out guys and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other tutorial videos.